All right, well, Jersey Boys is the hit strip show that everybody is talking about. And this morning, we continue Moore's exclusive four-part series that takes you behind the scenes and a one-on-one -on -one with the cast. Yes, we are. And Miss Claudine is here live with Moore. Claudine, I guess it was fun, huh? You know what? The best show on the strip. And yeah, the guys are really sweet. But you know what's interesting is there's just more to this band than a singer with a falsetto voice and a bunch of number one hits. These guys from New Jersey have quite a story. And today, we take a glimpse into the life of the guy who brought the group together, guitarist Tommy Vito. Who loves you pretty, baby? Who's gonna help you through the night? One of my lines in the show is, you know, there's three ways to get out of Belleville, New Jersey. You go to the you join the army, you get mobbed up, or you become a rock star, which and he sort of did too. Before the success of the four seasons, Tommy needed money. He grew up in, an, in a time that was, you know, the, Jersey was still in the depression when these guys were growing up as kids. Um, so they had to, they, they sort of had to do a lot of things that maybe, you know, we didn't have to do growing up. He and bandmate Nick Massey found they could make more robbing a jewelry store than playing a gig in a nightclub. This landed them both in the slammer. I think that he probably made some poor decisions and he would probably admit to a lot of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as the story goes, yeah, I guess he's kind of the bad boy. Jeremy Kushner stars as the loudmouth DeVito. It's a great part, you know. He, these kind of characters to me are always the most fun to play. The guys that the, the, the audience can't decide whether they love him or hate him, you know, um, or they love to hate him. No matter what your opinion, if it wasn't for Tommy, the Four Seasons may have never existed. He also was really the linchpin in starting getting this whole band started. He was the one that sort of really drived it and pushed it. And, you know, they tried different names and they tried different styles of music and they tried different um, members of the group. Um, but the one thing that was constant was Tommy. When the name was finally picked out and the group was complete, the Four Seasons started turning out hit after hit. Oh, Tommy couldn't stop spending. He gambled, he borrowed, he gambled some more and got in way over his head until finally it all caught up with him. Between the IRS and some sharks he took a loan from, he I'm was in debt hundreds of thousands of dollars. My people are very angry. They want a message sent. What message? You're moving to Las Vegas. Vegas? For what? Your health. We're going to keep an eye on you. We see you outside Nevada. It gets ugly. Wait a minute, for how long? It's one of my, actually my favorite moment in the show is that, we call it the sit down with, uh, with it's Jim. forever. When I get Wait a minute, back, I got a better idea. A clean break, we buy him out. Buy me out? Buy me out? You don't buy me out, I buy you out. With what, Tommy? Fine, buy me out. On the surface, Tommy came across as a rough, irresponsible loudmouth who only cared for himself. But after meeting the real DeVito, actor Jeremy sees a different side. Yeah, you know what? I think he's just misunderstood. Um, Tommy, I actually got a chance to meet him uh, a few weeks ago. He lives out here in Vegas now, um, as the show sort of tells you. Uh, he's a really great guy. Seriously, you have to go see the Jersey Boys for yourself. It is truly one of the best shows on the Strip. Call 702-414-9000 for tickets to the fabulous Jersey Boys or visit the Palazzo box office. And next week, the Jersey Boys four-part series continues with the guy who was known as the womanizer of the group, and he was also responsible for the sound of the Four Seasons, bass player Nick Massey. And coming up, only more is giving you a chance to see the Jersey Boys for free. You do not want to miss this. Or you will miss your chance if you miss one minute of the show. So stick around. You've got to stay tuned. Also, Joe Pesci makes an appearance. I love that part. I'm not giving anything away, I hope. All right. <laughs> he was great in it. Yeah. Who knew, huh? Who knew? All right. You have to see it to know what I'm talking about.